Hey, how's it going guys? Today I'll show you a really quick way that I've discovered for exporting a video version of a podcast. This will also work if you just wanna add an image to a music track and put it up on YouTube. So if you don't have any transitions between different images or moving video, animation, or anything like that, this is going to work great for you. So I've already done my podcast, I've edited, and I have an MP3 of it. So I'm gonna drop that in, and this will work with a wave as well. Probably even better, honestly. But I've got an MP3, and I have a image that I uh, exported from a image editing app. And this is going to be the, the video portion of this project. So I've imported the image, it's put it in at the start of the project, and I'm just going to pull this item edge out until it gets to the end of the project. I'm gonna turn off the grid because I don't need that. All right, I'm going to double click and make sure that loop source is turned on. All right, so I'm at the end of the project and if I look at the video, I can see that video uh, is there on the screen, anywhere I click in the project. Now, to make this export really fast, there's a couple things I need to do. First is in Project Settings. You can get to this window by going to File, Project Settings. And instead of 30 frames per second, which is the default, I've got this set to one frame per second. So I can have multiple images in this project, but the video will only update once a second. So if you need more than that, you can change that frame rate, bump it up to two, three. For this is one image and I don't want it to change at all. I don't want it to fade in and out or anything like that. It's just one image. And yeah, so one frame per second is fine. So now I go to export. I actually have a preset saved and I'll show you what my settings are. So 1080p podcast video, one frame per second. So I'm just gonna save this to my desktop and I will call it TMS 046, 046. The settings here, output format, I have set to the MPEG-4 MOV uh, AV Foundation, which is only available on Mac OS. If you have FFmpeg uh, installed on Windows, you can do a similar setting. It's an H.264 codec. I have the frame rate set to one here, and this is really key to making this export fast. A normal video that you're exporting at uh, 30 frames per second, is going to export at maybe like five times real time, if you're lucky. Uh, often it's like one and a half or something like that. So it's pretty slow. 40 minute podcast could take 20 minutes to export. It's a big file and it takes even longer to upload. This could export at like 30 to 60 times real time, which is great. This here is the bit rate and this, this will affect the image quality. You could probably set this lower, but I think 4,000 is fine. Audio codec 192 should be plenty for a podcast. So let's render this now. And if you look right here, it's going about 60 times real time. It's only gonna take 30 seconds to export a nearly 40 minute podcast. Rendering this 40 minute podcast in 30 seconds is just amazing. Uh, I've gone through different processes of doing this. Rendering it through Reaper at 30 frames per second was slow. Uh, I've tried uh, FFmpeg through Terminal with various different options. So I'm super happy that I found a way that will uh, export this almost instantly. And now let's look at that file on the desktop. It is 1080p, only 100 megabytes for that. And if I play it, it even works in preview. I can jump to anywhere in that video and it works fine. All right, so I'm gonna go upload that now and uh, finish this video. Hope that makes sense. Hope this has been helpful for you. If any of you guys don't have your podcast on YouTube, you're missing out. It's the world's second largest search engine. So you wanna have your videos where people can find it easily. And a lot of people like to have that on their phone rather than uh, going through the podcast app or something like that. Your podcast will also be available through game consoles and your TV. And if you wanna learn more about video production in Reaper, I've got a playlist that I'll link here and you can check those out. Lots of cool stuff you can do with Reaper and video. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. 